So the first element we're going to talk about is the history. And the history is broken down into three components. HPI, review of systems, and your past family and social history. The scores that you get for each of these three will be used to determine what your overall score for the element is. Scores generally range between 1 and 5. So you, you're going to get a score between 1 and 5. You're going to use that score along with the other two elements, examine MDM, to determine your overall bill. So let's walk through some of the scores, how you get these scores here. So let's talk about HPI first. So the HPI is first comprised of a chief complaint. It is not acceptable for you to say, chief complaint, follow up for some disease process. Follow up for anything is not a good chief complaint. So that's wrong. You should have a chief complaint. In the kidney world, one of the easiest chief complaints or most common chief complaints is rising creatinine or uh, unstable blood pressure. But you can't say follow up for something or routine examination because that's not a chief complaint. And that means if you did that, you'd get a very low score for your HPI. And then the HPI is broken down into eight items. So I'm going to list those eight items. Location, quality, severity, modifying factors, associated symptoms, pardon the abbreviations here, duration, context, and I seem to be missing one. So I've got to remember what that one is. And I have a cheat sheet, and there's nothing wrong with having a cheat sheet, so let me look that up. Timing. Okay, in order to put yourself in position to bill uh, a good amount, I'm going to say a good bill is a level 4 bill. I think if you bill level 5, you're asking yourself for an audit, so you'll probably end up crying if you bill level 5s over and over again. And if you bill anything less than a level 4, like 1 to 3, you'll probably be giving a service and not being reimbursed for it. So you'll probably cry there too. So I think the happy medium is level four. All right, so what do we need to do in order to bill for a level four? Each of these items, excuse me, each of these components has to be documented in a certain way in order to bill level four. Let's do the HPI first. You've got eight items here. Four up here, four down here. You need to address four of them at the minimum. Addressing four of these items will put your HPI component uh, in a position, in a score of level four. So if you're a kidney doctor and your patient is coming in for a high creatinine, what of, which, what of these items could you do? Which one of these would be applicable? Well, you know um, the severity of the condition because you have a formula, the EGFR or the CKD epi equation that you can use to determine what their severity will be. So that's one. You know the modifying factors because if NSAIDs make it worse or hypovolemia makes it worse, those are modifying factors. Um, that's number two. You know the duration of the CKD because it's uh, documented somewhere in your note that they've been seeing you for five years or seven years or longer. That's three. You know the context of their CKD. Is this diabetic nephropathy, hypertensive nephropathy, or an underlying glomerular nephritis? Associated symptoms. Well, for a kidney doctor, that's pretty much all of the uremic symptoms. One, two, three, four, five. So for the typical prototype visit, um, someone with CKD, whose chief complaint is an elevated creatinine, you can address five of the eight items that make up the HPI component right off the bat. You only need four, but if you address any more, you won't get any extra points per se, but at least you'll put your HPI in a category that will lead you to level four billing. So remember, for the HPI, you need to address four out of the eight items at the minimum. 
and I just gave you an example of how a kidney doctor can do that. In the next video, we're going to talk about the review of systems and then finally sum up with past medical, family, and social history.